hard. Wakey, wakey. Why did it take you so? Boom. What you doing? What um, uh, wait, wait. Where, where is Sonia? She's just waking up too. Let me get her. Well, you. you know what? Don't worry. Don't worry. Just. What she she will. You... Please just let her know that I that I came by. Femi Adibili, you're about to watch a video right hey, now. Hey, you not introduce me, me. Sorry, here with me is Papa Mife. <laughs> you're about to watch a video now. Please, we kindly appeal that you subscribe to this YouTube channel and click on the notification bell to get. Please do. Oh, when we subscribe, like, and share our video. Eh? Ha! Why did you go? Say you're supposed to go before me. Ni? Oh, I'm sorry. Dada. <sighs> Babanife is quite funny though. Uh, happy viewing as you watch this movie. Thank you very much and God bless you. All this now, Sonia. Nothing. Nothing in this house. Julie, what's the problem? Is everything okay? Come. Julie, you've come with all your troubles again. What? What? What are you looking for, babe? I thought this was a go-to place to come to when one is hungry. What's going on? Nothing to eat. <laughs> huh? <laughs> That's very funny. Not today, love. I'm really sorry. Besides, this place is not a restaurant. I've been so busy with this new project they've given me at work. It has taken all my energy. I've not even had time to cook, as you can see. So I'm, I'm really sorry. So why did I now come? Why did I come here? Everywhere is so dry. You know what? I feel like you can actually solve this hunger problem that you have. Just get on an apron and start cooking something. There's spaghetti in that cabinet. I think I have some kinds of sardine. There's even maggi. So just fix something for yourself. <laughs> Sonia, but really, how many years is your wife Patria? Is this how you plan to starve Bebe when it comes to Calgary to visit you? <laughs> Let me see. Empty pots. Everywhere empty. <laughs> Julie, what? Thank you. Now that 
then is coming, mm -hmm. all your oppression that you and Caleb used to do will end. You say, oh, we're going skiing, oh, we're going swimming, we're going hiking, we're going skating, we're going... All of that is going to end because my fiance is coming next week. I can see you, so you be jealous of me. Eh? No. Jealous in the Holy Ghost. We jealous. <laughs> No, but seriously, I'm happy for you guys. Thank you. It's good to know that, you know, but, but Ben now has a job. And he came in at the right time. It sure did. Hmm. It sure did. So when is he coming in? When is his flight coming in? Yeah, I think it's it's Wednesday afternoon. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, I'll be at work, and I've not been given the opportunity to leave work, to pick him up. So I might just tell him to take an Uber or something. Um, I could speak to Caleb. He's usually off on Wednesdays. Okay, okay, yeah, that would be really, really nice. Yeah. Like, I would really, really appreciate that because I've been trying to figure out what I'm going to do, how it's going to get, you know, to this place from the airport. Faith to freedom. Faith to freedom. James Vincillor. James Vincillor. Sonia, remind me, James Vincillor, is it not that... Um, <laughs> really, uh, so yeah, how is your relationship with um, Caleb going? Oh, yeah, that. I thank God. Mm. To be honest, <laughs> it's been good. Really? Honestly. Yeah, very, very good. can see this is quite different from the other ones that we've seen so far yes this is more spacious has a lot more room yeah and look at the room this nice. is the master bedroom Ooh. and if you go in there you can see that you guys have a closet the lady has a lot of room mm, for her clothes nice. and everything like that this is very yeah. very nice well yeah. built yeah, so everything is working here perfectly. The water system is perfect. You don't have to worry about that. There isn't any problems with the um, heating system or, or anything else in the house. So everything has been checked and you will be good to go. Yeah. Yeah. It's nice. Do you have any questions for me? Ben, what do you think? I think my only concern is um, the noise level because it seems to be next to the main road. Oh, the sound level here is actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. They put that into consideration when they were making the house, so you don't have to worry about that. Okay. This place is pretty soundproof, so any ongoing traffic coming or going, you won't hear anything. Uh, so, nice to know that. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. And if you come this way, I'll show you some more stuff. Actually. Ooh, okay. Yeah. More stuff. Yes, more stuff. If you go like through those um, blinds over there, mm -hmm. you would see that we have a balcony there. Oh, so really? in the summertime, yeah. if you guys want to take in the sun, you can always go out there. It's pretty spacious, wow. quite big as well. It's yeah. a good idea. Yeah. And through this door right here, we also have an extra bedroom mm. and washroom as well. So cool. for visitors or we want to extend the family. So yeah, as you can see that this place has a lot of potential. Yeah, it's a pretty spacious space. Yeah, I like the There's wood. a lot of potential for like to build a family here. Mm -hmm. You have the room there, like extended family, you want to have this stuff over. So mm -hmm. this is a pretty good place to start a family and to for your first house. Yeah. yeah. It's nice. So, good question to you. Oh, yeah. Is there any possibility of um, going to the asking price? <laughs> not at all, not at all. Look. There are already eight people that are already asking for this business and are interested in it and are willing to take it. Place is okay. It's just the price. Price? Price, it's nothing compared to what you're going to get in the value of this house. There is such good shopping. There is a great mall right around the corner. Oh, well, this is such a great neighborhood for you. There are small children here. Those little kids that are coming, they're going to have playmates here and just open the door here pull it hard look wow. at that brand new it is bet you new. you could do a lot of diapers in that <laughs> one yes yeah yeah well come on i'll just show you something else down here also yeah for okay. sure right. yeah uh, so um why are we putting ourselves the wedding is just a few months away so why don't we just stick to my suggested plan and no waste money ben 
Are you sure about this? I mean, just... Hey, my friends, come on down. There's some things I want to show you down here, and I have actually another showing in just a few minutes. Okay. Hey, I want to help you okay. to get this for you. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Oh, wait, I want to show you something before you go. Look in here. Can you picture your sports car in here? There are some things outside I want to show you also. Come with me. Come with me and let's go outside. Okay. Oh, when you two were coming out of the house, I could see you carrying a little baby. <laughs> you guys are just getting married. People will be out here looking at you. You will be walking out here. There are so many beautiful things that are out here. Come, let's take a look over here. Boom. What are you doing? What are you doing? Where, where is Sonia? She's just waking up too. Let me get up. What? You know what? Don't worry. Don't worry. Just what she, she will you? Please just let her know that I that I came by. It's Julie. Um, she probably left because she saw me. What? Julie saw you? She saw you here. Ben, but why did you answer the door? You should have let me answer the door! Well, I thought it was the guy coming to fix the dryer. Oh my god, oh my god. How long are we going to keep hiding? But Ben, how, how, how do I begin to explain that my boyfriend is living with me in the same house? Fiance. Fiance. Let's be clear on that. And we are mature Christians here. By the way, you don't have to explain yourself to everyone. Really? Yes. Really? Yes. Then I don't like this. I don't like this. Why don't you go and tell us Pastor and Pastor Mrs. I, I, I really don't like this. You know, and this was all your idea. Wait, calm, calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Listen. Listen. You just need to explain to her and make her understand. But I know Julie. I know her. She's not gonna she's gonna raise this up. She's not gonna keep quiet. You just need to make her serious and understand. <sighs> Only that she might not understand spiritual matters. Anyways, anyway, money devotion time. No. Oh, I can see you've been trying to avoid me because of your sins. I'm serious. Avoid you. You're funny. Why would I be avoiding you? You texted me that we should meet, and I agreed. Is everything okay? Anyway, how's your how's work? You know, how's that your boss? Is he has he calmed down? Like, is he okay? Okay, okay that's fine. That's good. Did you need anything for your break or you just Did you leave? Okay. So you just stop it. Don't bother trying to trivialize this at all. It's not funny. How long? How long what? How long have you two been sleeping together? <laughs> it depends on what you mean by sleeping together. It's been like a month or let's say five weeks since so Ben came. So now what? We're not sleeping together like that. He's just living with me. <sighs> I don't understand. What's going on in your one bedroom studio? Oh my god, Lord. I don't think Julie be spiritually matured enough to understand the situation. Julie, see, let, let me let me explain. Let me explain. What's happening is that Sister Sonia. I don't need to remind you that doing this kind of thing before marriage is a sin. Oh are we on the same page at all? It depends. Depends on what? It depends on if you're on the same page that I'm on. I might have moved on to another page. And maybe you're reading an old page. I don't read old pages anymore. You know, I've gone beyond that. Judy, I know it's hard to understand this, but the truth is we are not sinning. Madam Sonia, please make me 
understand how harboring a full blooded man who you're not even married to in a minus 15 degree weather? Tell me how that isn't a sin. Julie, I will explain. But you need to concentrate. Just. I can't concentrate. I can't. That's going to be a problem then. Because I need you to open your spirit, to listen with your spirit. You need to clear your heart of every presumption or else you'll be looking at things through the shade of, of, of tradition. So just listen. Let me tell you, there are four reasons why we are doing this. And you need to listen well because the fourth reason is the most important one. Okay, number one. We are saving money for the wedding. Even the Bible says that wisdom is profitable to direct. Just imagine, you'd have been spending almost more than $2,000 on, on rent and utilities. What for? When I have a house. Oh, okay, number two. Hebrews 5.14. No, 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 no. Don't, don't open it. I know it straight from my head. It says that strong meat belongs to those who by skill have been able to differentiate between right and wrong. Myself and Ben, we are very matured. We're matured Christians. We're able to have self-control even though we're in close proximity to each other. We're not like all these baby Christians <laughs> that don't have self-control. Sonia. Number three. See, me and Ben, we're using this chance to get to know each other better. Look at, look at couples nowadays. Separation, divorce, even in the church. And you are aware of that. Me and Ben are using this moment to get to know each other better. We do devotions together, we cook together, we eat together. You know, we're trying to figure out what works and what doesn't. In fact, you know what? Time has even gone. I, I, I really have to get going now. I have to get going. I will see you later. Okay. What's the fourth most important reason? Oh, we were led to do so. Romans 8, 14. We were led. You were led. Led by you. What kind of sin? Julie, 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 Julie. Who led you? Julie. Ah. Mm. Exalt the name of God. We are here to lift up our holy hands to bless the name of our Lord. To bless the name of the King. He alone is worthy to be praised. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. So, Julie, I think you were actually serious when you said you were coming to my house this night. You led a powerful worship session today in church. 
But you know what? I can't keep watching all this, all these things you, 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 you're doing. I can't. This is not you. And this is a sin. <laughs> See, it's good. It's very, 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 very good that you're here. For, for, for a while now, you've been shouting, bed on the fab, bed on the fab, bed on the fab. Come, let me even show you. Come, 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 come. Let me show you. Judy, come, let me show you. Come, I'll show you. The only thing you're saying are unfounded. So see, this is his bed. This is my bed. We don't share the same bed. What are you saying? What are you saying? Can you hear yourself? Can you usually? Sonia, what you're saying is seriously irritating. It's irritating to the ears. It doesn't make any sense to me. What are you saying? You're a child of God. Not only that, you're a steward in the church. What is it? What do you mean we don't share a bed? What are you saying? Does it make sense? But Julie, why won't we share? What, what nonsense are you saying about you guys not sharing a bed? But you're sharing other intimate things. You're not married. When you say we married, it's only our bodies that the Lord doesn't want us to share for now. And we have mastered how not to do that. <laughs> I'm listening. How? You see, the problem with many of us believers is that we are so shallow in our understanding. We, we, we insist on putting ourselves in chains that the Lord has not put us in. Julie, there is nothing. And I repeat, there is nothing in the scripture that is forbidding us from doing what we are doing. Unnecessary chains. So, you are calling the principles and standards laid by the church chains? Yes, they are. I mean, just even look at you. Chains. Me. Chains. Hmm. Yes. What do you mean chains? What chains are mine? <laughs> See, you insist on paying over $400 as tights every month. Just think, if you put that money towards your student loan, do you know how, how, how much reduced it would have been by now? I'm not saying you should not give. I give too. But I do it within boundaries and with rational thinking. <sighs> you need to free up yourself, girl. Use wisdom. Sonia, you know what? When you're up there on the stage ministering, you look like an angel. But no one will believe that inside of you is, is locked. You're locked up with so many terrible things. <gasps> Sonia, this is not you. You were not like this before now. Julie, you call these things, you call, you call it terrible. But I call it wisdom. Just think about it. We're saving money on house rent. We're saving money on car insurance, on utilities. And on top of that, we're getting to know ourselves even better. Don't you think that is the Lord that did this miracle? Out of all the cities that Ben could have been posted to, they posted him to this city. Come on, see the hand of God. When I came here thinking you and I could have a decent conversation. I thought I could convince you to make you see reason. But not so. I'm just going to call the taxi. Uh-uh. Julie. Me. Julie, has it got into that? Uh -uh. Yeah. Honestly, I wish you would just hear me out. I wish you would just hear me out. We're hardly sleeping together in the same room at the same time. As you see, when he's going to work, I'm going to bed. And as he's coming back from work, I'm also getting ready for work. So nothing is happening. Nothing is happening. You need to clear your mind of all these immoral thoughts and immoral imaginations. Just clear your mind. Julie, so you see that there is nothing happening. Really? Julie. Wow. I have the victory. Victory in your name. Thanks for killing. Okay, okay, that's good. Your grace is sufficient for me. You're welcome. Thank you. Weakness, your strength now defines me. It's true. If I had been saving, 
every month towards my loan. Instead of tithing, you would have gone down by now. January, February, March, April, May. Stop! In Jesus' name! I should stop. I'm going in the middle of the road. I can't do that. Sorry, not you. Just please keep going. Okay. I hope you're all right. I guess you're on the phone. Yes. No. Uh, yes. Yes, I'm on the phone. Just please keep going. Uh, all right. You evil spirit. Try to impress upon my heart this ungodly teaching. I rebuke you in the mighty name of Jesus. Huh? You're trying to put me into the chains of poverty. But, but you have lost it in the name of Jesus. Huh? Galatians chapter 5 verse 7. You started out well. But someone pulled you out of the truth. And that is certainly not of the one who called you. Look here, Satan. You may have succeeded in derailing Sonia, but you cannot derail me. You can't. You can't in the mighty name of Jesus. I rebuke that wrong spirit. You devour. I rebuke you. Brother Ben! Brother Ben! I hate you with a victory! Good evening, sir! Oh, good evening! How are you? So good to see you, my dear! You've left my heart! Good evening, sir! Oh, sir. oh, sir. oh, oh my yes, god! Sir. Yeah. Darling, we were just talking about them! Absolutely! Really? Yeah. Oh, wow! Yeah. We were just saying, oh, we were actually in Sister Sonia's uh, neighborhood! Exactly. And Brother Ben, you're here! Yes, yes I'm here! Nice to see you! <laughs> Do you live around too? Yes, I'm in Las Roxy um, community as well! Oh, my! Darling, I think we still have some time. Yes, I think. We can do, yes. Get to know Brother Ben's place. Yeah, you know, we know Sister Sonia's house and uh, I think it should be good for us to also know your place. Yeah, that's no problem. Okay, great. To Ben's place. Are you oh, okay, Sister great. Sonia? Yes. Oh, great. We still oh. have some time. You drive ahead of us. Mm -hmm. Can we come after you? Oh, that's right. Let's drive. Right. God bless you. Oh, oh, God. Oh, God. Your love has made me free. I have the victory. What are we going to do about this? Calm down, Sonia. The Lord will teach us what to do. It is well. Or, 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 or should, we, should we just divert them to Larry's house? No, we can't do that. We can't lie. We're children of God. You know what? We need to go now. They're waiting for us. For you to tell me to calm down. I said, I've been, I've, oh dear Lord. What, what, what would they say? I mean, our wedding is just three months away. Three months. Where, where are we going to go if Pastor decides not to join us in the church? Calm down. If they don't, we'll simply find somewhere around where they will join us. I'm sure they will understand, anyways. Oh, but that's easy for you to say. I've been here for years. Years. Oh. And then you cause this. And I, I will keep saying, you caused this. Let me ask you, since we've been together, has anything happened? Well, to be honest, nothing has happened. But, but that's not how Pastor will interpret it. That's not how they will see it now. Then calm down. No, but what will Pastor think? What will Pastor and Mrs. think? You know they won't see things the way we are seeing it. Dear, hmm? is it even ethical for Sister Sonia and uh, Brother Ben to be living in the same neighborhood? Well, I don't think it's... It's ethical for any int intending couple. They probably are living in the same neighborhood, but it's a big one. Uh, okay. It's a big one. Let's see what's happening. 
They can't be leading in the same house. It's not possible. I hope not. I hope not. It's not possible. Yeah. Just calm down, darling. Okay. Just calm down. The same street? What's this? My goodness. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, you see what I said you to you? You must be kidding me. They, they, they're actually living on the same street. What's happening? I, I don't know. This, I, is I don't the, know. this is the Sonia's house. Sonia's house? What? Uh, well... I, I can't believe what I'm seeing right now. Wait, um... This... What, what, what is this? Where is Brother Ben Levy? Is he in another place? I can't go in there with you. What? No, no. Blood of Jesus. This is not acceptable. Jesus! What? Can't believe this. So now. Come down. They'll soon see the lights too. Okay? Everything's gonna be fine. Ben, ben. God, come on. Just calm down. Take it easy. Tell me that you don't know. Honestly, Ma, I've known about it, but it wasn't mine to tell or talk about it. Tell me that you don't know that he recently moved into. Oh my goodness. You mean all this while that we've had three days revival service and they've been actively involved? Leading? Oh my god. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's disappointing. So disappointing that those who were supposed to be perfect examples in the house of God are caught in the web of ungodly scenes. Brother Ben. Sir. Sister Sonia. Sir. It's one thing for you to repent and change your ways. But disciplinary measures will be taken against you. Mm-hmm. You will have to be suspended from your stewardship in the church for the time being. Have I made myself clear? Not a problem, sir. It's clear, sir. Not a problem. Don't you people think of the steps before taking them? Fornication and cohabiting when you're not married. And whenever anything happens, you say, hey, it was the devil. I didn't even know what came over me. It just happened. It was all a mistake. It was not a mistake, sir. What did you say, Ben? It is not a mistake. And it is not the devil. It is the Lord. Brother Ben. Sir. Okay. Can you please... Tell me more about how God can be a part of this foolishness. It is a strategic move led by the Spirit. And we're instructed by Him to go ahead and start living together, that all is well. What are you saying, Brother Ben? We are not saying, nor fornicating. We're simply living in the same room on separate beds. And there is nothing forbidden that, as far as the Lord is concerned. He's up with us. Ha! Sister Sonia, I need you to help me understand all this. Because <laughs> it's looking like bunkum to me. Well, actually, sir, we, we... We are the release in our spirit. 
And moreover, we are matured Christians, we can handle this. His grace is sufficient for us. Sister Sonia? Yes. Is that what you're saying too? Yeah, yeah, yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. I see. You may leave now. But, sir, I want to leave, leave now. Pastor, Please. I hope this will. Just leave. It's fine. Let's go. This is unbelievable. I can't understand. Pollution on the altar. Strange fire. Mixed multitude. Oh, Lord have mercy. And to think that I already drafted him into teaching Sunday school. We have to remove him immediately. This is a stain. They don't even acknowledge your error. <sighs> Darling, <laughs> I've seen people fall in the past. Trust me. But this one is looking so different. And to think that they are insistent that they are right, that makes it a lot terrible. <sighs> We have to pray. But this is a stain. I wonder how many people are thinking like they are. But you know what? We have to suspend them immediately. Oh. Suspension? This is beyond suspension. I think it's a battle for their souls. Father, throw more light. Reveal the secret to us. This is confusing, O oh Lord. Holy Spirit of the Living God, Spirit of Truth, you are the Paraclet. You are the revealer of hidden things, O oh God. And you promised that the secret of the hidden places will be revealed unto us and our children. Oh, Lord, this is confusing. Thank you for the insight. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Ah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hello, Brother Ben. Um, I apologize for calling at this time of the night. I mean, it's <laughs> early hours of the morning. I'm so sorry. And uh, I must apologize again for telling you to leave earlier today, or yesterday, rather. Oh, not a problem, Pastor. It took us some time for us to cope with the spirit on this matter. I'm sure with time, you will understand, too. See, Pastor Thomas, listen. The church has put itself in a bondage for far too long. And we call these things ancient landmarks. We keep calling what the Lord has cleaned unclean. Please tell me more. That's why I'm calling you. So I just wanted to I just want to hear you out. All these church traditions are man-made 
rules that we institute. And this is keeping people out of the church. Many of these rules have um, even you know, become more important than relationships. And sir, tell me, where is it written in the Bible that a man and a woman planning to marry are not allowed to sleep in the same room? Are you there, sir? Um, no, no, no. Oh, no. I'm, I'm here, Ben. I'm here. Um, <laughs> I'm taking it all in. Go ahead. Sir, check your Bible. When Rebecca's parent wanted to keep her for 10 more days after Abraham seven found her, he said no and took her same day. Same day, sir. What about other issues? Like repetitive prayers, fasting at 6 p.m., giving tithes, every Sunday worship, communion every month, and many of these other traditions that we've crafted to put fears in the heart of people. If I continue, if we begin to dust this one after the other, all these ancient landmarks will crumble. Or would you want me to continue, sir? Oh, oh, oh no, definitely will continue. Uh, we'll need to sit down and come to an understanding. Uh, by the way, is Sonia there with you? She's here, sir. She's watching a movie. Good. My regards to her. I would love us to meet and discuss it well. Yes, you, um, Sonia, myself, my wife, um, Sister Julie and Caleb, if you don't mind. Yes, I, I would like that, sir. Because I want as many people as possible to see the light. Oh. Thank you so much, Brother Ben. Um, bye for now. Thank you, Pastor. Bye. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Savior of the dying world. Wow. Jesus acted so unpredictably, so radically, so unexpectedly that his whole life was a mystery to everyone. Why must we be any different? Why? I mean, fine, yes. We're very sorry that our actions may have been upsetting to, to every one of you. But the truth is, even Jesus upset the religious leaders of his days. Please, let, please, I want us to just ignore all these traditions, all these rules that, that are nowhere written in the Bible. I mean, the other day I was just thinking, why, why should we have an order of service? Where, where, where is it written in the Bible? Can someone tell me? Let us stick with what we have on ground. We are dealing with a case of a single sister cohabiting with a single brother. And you say there's nothing wrong with that? I want us to stick with that. They are claiming that they are not committing fornication. The matter is all encompassing. Mm -hmm. The issues are all related. Yeah. But for the sake of the records, we we'll state our reasons again. Please, go ahead, Brother Ben. You see, sir, it was a miracle when I got a job that made me move here. And our wedding is ahead. We figured out it's easier that we live together rather than renting a place. Well, I guess we now have our answer. You figured out. Not you were led, like Sonia has been claiming. You were led. Julie, what? We were led. Indeed. Please. Really? You were led? Julie, just let them continue. I guess they were they figured out and we are also led. When you are led, you will still do some figuring out. <laughs> when we figured out this money saving scheme, we pray about it and the Lord led us to go ahead. We even asked the Lord what would your people say about this? And he said to ignore the traditional views of men and move on. So, I'm not surprised that we do not hold the same traditional views that many of you hold about Christianity. <sighs> Brother Ben, I know you mentioned something like worship every Sunday, um, offerings, tithes, fasting till 6 p.m. But we do not want to belabor this meeting with those things. All right? Let's face what has brought us here. It's cohabiting between a man and a woman. All right? Are you still insisting that you're not wrong about it? 
There's nothing wrong, sir. Absolutely nothing, sir. <sighs> then what would you make of the word of God? In the book of Jeremiah, chapter 6, verse 16. What would you make of it? It says, Thus saith the Lord, Stand by the roads and look, and as for the eternal paths, where the good old way is, then walk in it, and you will find rest for your souls. But they said, we will not walk in it. The ways of God are new every day, sir. He can choose to rule the blind Bartimaeus way, or the speed of another way. It depends on how he's been led. And that is exactly how we were led. I will close this meeting within 30 seconds. If your response to my simple question is a yes. I promise you. Now, both of you, Sister Sonia, Brother Ben, if there's anything I know about both of you, you're both children of God, and the Spirit of God runs inside of you. Now tell us, are you sure if Jesus should appear today, you're 100% sure, I want you to both answer me individually, that cohabiting between a man and a woman without being married will not stop you on the way to heaven? Answer me. Yes. Sister Sonia? <clears throat> so, your answers are superimposing hers. Hmm? Brother Ben, is that the final answer? <laughs> Whoever knows me knows that I detest anything about legalism and moralism when it comes to church experience. But what I have problem with is avoiding rules and accountability and calling it tradition. These days we have routines for virtually everything. We have a time for children to do their homework. We have a time when they go for extracurricular activities. We have a time even for when they go for holidays. So why is it that when it comes to serious spiritual matters, we are so carefree about them. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, those guides have led Christians to live successfully in the past. Sir, please permit me to read a verse. Go ahead. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians 8 9, but you must be careful so that your freedom does not cause others with a weaker conscience to stumble. Correct! That's it! Babe, thanks for reading that. You know, I've been thinking, even though they say or they claim nothing has, you know, they're not sleeping together, how about the young believers that are looking up to them? Hold it! Hold it, everyone! I have a simple question on maturity. Brother Ben, do you want to tell me that since you have been cohabiting together, there was never an instance where you were tempted? Because when a man looks at a woman lustfully, he has sinned in his heart. Now tell me from your heart of heart, the truth and nothing but the truth, that you were never tempted when you've been cohabiting together.
then? You have both been deceived. And you need to move out of this darkness to the marvelous light of God. Pastor, please, just pray for us. Pray for me. I, I know that I didn't start out like this. We didn't start out like this then. It all started when we, when we started listening to Pastor Vincilla's sermon. Ah. What? You mean the popular um, Pastor Vincilla from the Caribbean? Of course. No wonder, no wonder when I saw that book in your house, I knew it. I knew. Ha! I am convicted, sir. This is the end of the rope. This is it. I must turn back. You need to help us because we've allowed errors into our lives. Brother Ben, faith comes by hearing. The same way error comes by hearing. <sighs> Thank you, Jesus. You were running well. Who interfered with you that you should not obey the truth? This persuasion is not of him that called you. Brother Ben, you can't get wedded like this. I agree. I agree, sir. It's going to be a faulty foundation. Your wedding is hereby suspended. Oh, gracious oh, 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 no, no, no. no. Weakness, your strength now defines me. Mama, 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 just listen, listen. Mama, calm down, calm down, okay? Everything is alright. We're only postponing it for a while, okay? Yes, she's here. Hold on for her. Hello, Mama. Don't worry. Don't worry, see. I know that it's it's, it's quite worrying, but it's it's just it's just a postponement. You will still get married. Mama Ben has said you shouldn't worry. Don't worry. Mama everything is fine. I'm not lying to you, Mama. What well, Mama? I'll, I'll call, we will call you back. We will call you back. Certain yes. they'll we will call you back, ma. Run out on yes, ma. Me. Thank you, ma. All right. Bye bye. Grace is sufficient. Grace is sufficient for me. No weakness, strength now defines me. Weakness, your strength now defines me. Grab a box. Uh, by the way, do you still have the list of the people we're calling? Yeah, I think it's in the living room. Okay, alright. i grab that too.
Thank you. Thank you, sir. No problem. Thank you. Yeah. So, you still have one more item in me? Okay, quickly.